All right, this is a great question. Uh, and it's very instrumental in this entire course. So we will continually see opposites attracting, like charges repelling. And so this does a good job of uh, getting you to understand that. And there's a couple things going on. So uh, when opposites attract, both the magnitude and the distance is important. And same thing with the repelling of like charges, the magnitude and the distance is important. So we're looking for both magnitude, so the size of the charge, and the distance as we look through this. So let's look at the first one. So we have a plus three in the middle. Now we got two negatives around it. Now they're going to be attracted. But again, the distance is the same. So we have right, one, two, three lines, one, two, three lines. But the magnitudes are different. So that plus three is more likely to be attracted to a minus three. So what we're doing is clicking the way we think that green one will shift. So this one in the middle has the green. So I think it's going to shift that way because the magnitude is larger. So let's look at the next one. Now we got a plus three. It's got two negatives around it. Here we got one, two, three, four, five lines. Here we got one, two, three, four lines. So this one is closer and it also has a larger magnitude, meaning the plus three is going to be attracted to the minus two stronger than the minus one, both for magnitude and distance. So it's going to shift that way. Now for this last one, we have a plus one. This is the one we're looking at, the green. Now there's a minus one over here. You might say, oh, it's attracted to that. But in the way is a like charge. So it is going to repel from a like charge. And so it is going to shift also to the right to get away from a like charge. There we go. So. Paying attention to both, is it an opposite charge? That means attraction. A like charge means repel, it's gonna repel from it. And then distance and magnitude.